So why do cars make more horsepower in cold weather? Well, it's actually quite simple. It all has to do with air density. At lower temperatures, you have more dense air along with low elevation. More dense air means that you have more concentrated oxygen molecules. So let's not overcomplicate this. More oxygen equals more horsepower. Now let's visualize this. If you were to climb Mount Everest, you would actually have less dense air as you go up in elevation and the temperature would also drop. But it's kind of irrelevant because you're going so high up there that all of your air density is lost. It's the same reason why warm air rises. Now warm air rises because it's less dense and when you climb Everest you need to bring oxygen with you because there's no oxygen at that elevation. It's kind of the same concept behind taking this car right here from Florida to Colorado as you go up in elevation you definitely lose horsepower. That's why planes that take off at high elevation also need longer runways and the same goes for planes that take off at low elevation and high humidity and high temperatures. Because there's no oxygen, the engine has to work harder to achieve the maximum thrust for takeoff. So now you guys know that mods don't exclusively increase horsepower. You can do all the supercharging, turbos, and all that stuff you want, but if you're at high elevation with a high density altitude, the car will make less power than if it were at a low elevation and had lower density altitude. So the next time your friend tells you that they're looking for boost weather on their car, you can explain exactly why that increases horsepower. And now it's more probable to explain why people try to escape the Florida heat in order to run the PB in their time. You know, they're trying to get away from the heat and less oxygen. <laughs>